So I've got some biscuits I'm making. Got the flour, got the butter. Get ready to add the milk over here. I got bacon frying. And I'm gonna make some coffee. I got an instant coffee. And the bacon looks like it's ready to turn. Let me get a spatula here somewhere. My little spatula and my little kitchen organizer. Those are these are little common kitchen organizers that you see here in the Philippines. So let's see if I can turn this bacon with my camera on. Yeah. It was, it was ready, a little bit past ready to turn, but it's okay. That's good for me. And I'm going to cook. That's just enough for me right there. And then the rest I'm going to cook over here for Marcel and her mother. And we're going to have biscuits. I'm going to have gravy and bacon and eggs. Nice American Kentucky breakfast. So. Okay, so we've got the gravy going here. I've got the eggs cooked. I got biscuits in the oven, and my mother-in-law needs to go to work, so she's going to go ahead and eat breakfast. But I've got scrambled eggs, and Marcel has got to have rice. She's no, Filipina. Got to have rice. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. All right. So back in the kitchen. i got to finish this gravy. All right, here at the Ormac Mercado, we came to buy some pork for the birthday festivities. And there's lots to choose from. Marcel has her favorite place back here, and that's where we're headed. The whole pig. The chickens. We got chicken intestines. We got skin. We got pork liver. And this is Marcel's. Right next to Gab's meat stall. In June, you know. Hello. Hi. Say hello to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> This is chorizo, it's like a sausage. It's in there. So we're here at the vegetable stand and we're buying some noodles, pancit noodles that are fresh made. And she will cook those. And then we're buying tomatoes and some red peppers and some cabbage for coleslaw and some other vegetables. This is the open air vegetable market. They all sell about the same thing and there's not much difference. So some of it they'll chop up and you can buy prepared so you don't have as much work to do at home. You can see these other vegetable stands here. They all sell ginger and ajo and more prepared vegetables. This is also for, for preparing a soup called sinigang. We've got uh, camotes, which is a sweet potato. And needles. Making a video for YouTube. Well, lots of hot peppers, bitter gourd, cucumbers, uh, kind of a cabbage here, uh, bok choy, uh, 
white potatoes. We do have potatoes here, just plain old potatoes. And then occasionally you find some unusual things. Well, we got calabasa, which is kind of a pumpkin. Huge carrots. You want to buy cooking oil? They'll buy a big jug of it and they'll put it in these little plastic bags. People buy a little bit at a time to meet their budget. And the storage space. Hello. This is called Opo. It's a vegetable. It's really good. Opo. Opo. Uh -huh. Opo. And you can buy seasonings here. Magic Sarep. Magic Sarep. Magic Sinigang. Some basil. Uh, what else do I see here? And more noodles. So we call this the chai. It's a uh, Chinese cabbage. How do we get back to Mauricio? Singamas. 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 Five more. <laughs> Patatas. Yeah. Potatoes. Patatas. Luya. 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 Yeah. I'm going to go to Luya Cha. Cara. Cara. Ponta. Gis. Cebolla. Cebollas. Cebollas. Verdes. I'm practicing my Bisaya while I'm here. White onion. White onion, yeah. Salamat. Bye bye. I better go find Maricel. She's going to wonder where I am. There she is. So the market you can see is right next to the ocean here. Wimak Bay. Umana? She's still still shopping. Oh she'd be done by now. Sili. Sili. Yeah, I'll get some sili. Sili mm. is hot peppers. Hot peppers. About 20 cents a kilo, I think. Takpila. Takpila, man. 250 per kilo. 250 pesos per kilo. It's $5 per kilo. It's about 250 a pound. But we never buy that many, so it's going to cost us about 10 pesos. Okay, so we're here at the fish market. <laughs> Let's get some three months, want some squid for grilling. No, okay. We just pick out whatever you want, babe. Hmm? Huh? Bangus. Bangus? Whatever you want. You want tuna? Get, get what the uh, Makabug likes, okay? Get for them. I've got hamburgers for Jeffrey. You get kind of fish to eat Makabug likes, okay? Okay. If it's bangus, bangus. If it's tuna, tuna, whatever you want. Bangus. Tag pila? 200 lang. 200 per kilo. Bone in. Bone? No, no, we say eh. Huh? Sugba. Sugba. Yeah. Grill, yeah. yeah. Yes. With the bone in, that's what I said. No, okay. no need to get the bone. That's what I mean, not yeah. boneless, with the okay. bone in. So, what's this? Takpila. Takpila? Yeah, takpila. Takpila? 160. 160 per kilo. Okay. Is this tilapia? Yes, tilapia. Okay. So this is tilapia, 160 a kilo. It's about $3 or... Yeah. A kilo, dollar fifty a pound. Bangus is two hundred per kilo. That's about four dollars kilo, two dollars a pound. 
And we're getting a couple of kilos. So we're going to put this on the grill. So the bangus has lots of bones. In it. And you can buy it deboned here. And it costs a little more, but it's really good. Salam ano? Lami ka ayo? Ako ang asawa. She she decides. Talk to her. There you go. Yeah. Back hand, equal back. Back hand, equal back. Back hand. Thank you. Salamat, salamat. Back hand, salamat. Bye bye. Oh, you gotta watch it here. The floor is wet. It's really slippery. It's easy to fall on. Bust to bust your bottom here. So I'm gonna go slow. I think we're done. And so here's the uh, the same thing, the bangos, and this is the boneless bangos. And you can see the lady here removing the bones. Bangos. Bangos. That Indira is very pretty. Nice job. She does that all day long. But she's really good at it. We've bought from her before. Whoa. Almost fell. You gotta be careful. There's Maricel. And this is the traffic coming into the market. It is a busy place today. Today is November 1st. It's All Saints Day. Uh, we were at the grocery yesterday. It was very busy. Busy here at the market. It's more like a Saturday. And uh, I think people are getting ready no, to celebrate, um, celebrate All Saints Day. So we're going to go home and we're going to stop at the fruit market on the way. We can buy some mango and some calamansi, okay? So, and we are parked up here, yeah. Okay, Marcel has spotted some calamansi. Calamansi is a small lemon or a lime. Uh, the Spanish called it a lemoncita. Here it is. Calamansi. Like pila per sack? Takpila? Takpila? Okay. 20 pesos. 20 pesos. 40 cents for a sack of lemons. And this guy is just walking around selling fruit. Oh. Slippery. Now we're back on some dry concrete here. Ah. Here's the parking lot attendant, the self-appointed parking lot attendant directing traffic with uh, his little piece of cardboard which he collects his tips on. And he's out here working for himself and he will help us back out of this spot here, sort of. And here's another guy. They really just kind of get in your way and they collect five pesos. Okay, so we got our grill fired up here, birthday time, and we got some some pork on the grill. And this is, yes, a homemade grill made by yours truly. There we go. That's looking good. Here's some of the finished product waiting to be consumed. And we have some bangus, bangus fish. Uh, it's kind of a bony fish. They run it open and they shove some uh, vegetables in there and cook it on the grill. And then over here, I've gone and bought some hamburger at Robinson's. I think hamburger is probably cheaper here than the, in the Philippines than in America. Uh, I gave 380 a kilo. Kilo is 2.2 .2 pounds. That's 
380 pesos. That's about 750, let's say 750 for 2.2 pounds. That's about 350, about 375 a pound, approximately. You do the math if you want to. But um, I think it's about three, 375 a pound here in the Philippines. And I bought it before. It's a pretty good hamburger. I uh, grilled, uh, fried some hamburgers. I didn't grill them. Cooked them in the frying pan. So we got some, some good food here on the grill. We got uh, Roy here, my brother-in-law Roy, doing the cooking. Gary supervising. He cut it all up. <laughs> and in here we got some ladies making some gulai. Gulaman. Gulaman. First they're making some uh, green jello. And I don't know what else goes into it, but it's really good. I've had some before. Gulaman. And we got more pork. And we got some noodles soaking over here. And we got, is this pork or chicken? Pork or manok? Ma pork. More pork <laughs> in the wok. And we're making what? Humba? Pancit. Pancit canton. Pancit canton. And that's what the noodles are. The pancit is the noodle. And we'll have some vegetables in there mixing with that and pork. What else we got going here? We got more jello for the gulaman. I did yeah. find some hamburger buns at the local store. And we've got some ice cream. And I bought a black forest cake. We got soda, and we're gonna have a good time. Okay, we got all the Filipino food cooked. I've got it, my hamburgers on the grill, and uh, I'm waiting for that. We've got a lot of good Filipino food in here, but I want my uh, I want my cheeseburgers today. So here's the crowd. Everybody say hello to YouTube. Yay! All right, we're gonna have fun. I'll show you a little bit of what we got in here in the kitchen. This is called pancit canton noodles with vegetables and meat. And then in here, in this pot, we have a sweet pork dish called humba, H-U-M-B-A, humba. That's one of my favorites. It's really, really good. And they know how to cook it here. So everybody's going to eat. There's John Michael. Say hi, John Michael. Hi, hi. He just had a birthday. Is Anarika. Anarika is 16. She's a senior in high school. She's so smart. This is her papa, so don't get anywhere near her. He will beat you up and run you away. You try to hold hands with Anarika. Yeah. My brother-in-law, Gary. Say hi, Gary. Hi. My mother-in-law. We call her Nanai. Her name is Sophia. Eduardo. Kristen. Kristen is in nursing school. Hello, Karen. Karen is in, in uh, nursing assistant school. And that is Princess, Princess Jane, say hello. Yeah, she's so pretty. And Jocelyn, she's got her mouth full. Hello, Jocelyn. And she's the, she's the mother of Justin Faith, everybody's, everybody's favorite. This is Antonietta, Marcel's older sister. And they are quite close, and they talk about 10 hours a day on Messenger. And this is Alice. This is my brother in law's wife, Alice, and Roy's wife. And who else? We got James Edrick over here. There's Roy. This is Alice's husband, Roy, Marcel's brother. And this is James Edrick. Say hi, James Edrick. He's really smart. And Jacinto. Jacinto, a hardworking man, got a family. And Judy Ann. All the boys are in love with Judy Ann. They, they cry when there's no school. They cry. Why are you crying? No school today. Why, no, why are you crying about no school? We don't get to see Judy Ann. Oh! Yeah. And Justin Faith. That's her little sister. So that's everybody. Oh, oh, one last person. Marcel. Say hello, Marcel. Where's Alger? She's still outside? Okay. Oh, we got more ice in here too. We got the. Uh, we got this. And. I think, I think that's it. Here, Alger. Say hello, Alger. He's our, our guest today and the son of Alice. So we're having a great time and digging into the food. All right, so we had a good 
birthday party today. I cooked some hamburgers, I made some coleslaw, I had potato chips. Um, I didn't fix any french fries, I had some potatoes in there, but I just didn't feel like doing it. I didn't make a cake, I didn't make brownies, brownies are awesome. I bought a cake. We bought a black forest cake from Robinson Supermarket, and everybody ate the cherries off of the cake, but they didn't eat the cake. <laughs> So I saved a couple of pieces of cake for myself and Marcel and sent the rest of it home to the village in Makabuk. So we had a good party. I had my family here from Makabuk. Um, I think we had all of Marcel's brothers and sisters here, except for Melinda. We didn't, we didn't have Melinda. And then well, we had her daughters here and a lot of her nieces and nephews. Um, so we had about, see, about 20 people birthday party um, we had hamburgers I had nobody else ate the hamburger except me hamburgers coleslaw potato chips for me uh, what else? I had some root beer and then we had some humba which is a sweet uh, roasted pork oh, it's really good one of my favorite Filipino dishes is humba h-u-m-b-a we had uh, Grilled mangos, which is a fish. I didn't eat any of that. I like it. I didn't eat. I mostly ate. I just ate my hamburgers. Today was an American food day for me, except for the moon. We had also awesome gulaman, which is like jello and uh, sweetened condensed milk and some kind of like little pearls. You know, that you get in the milk tea, something like that. It's really good. I love it. I like gulaman. And then we had, uh, what else did I have? I guess that's all I ate. Um, but we had Pancit Canton, we had, what else? That's maybe what we had. Rice, gotta have rice in the Philippines. So we had a good birthday party, lots of fun with the family. We had a nice relaxing time and uh, everybody went home after a few hours. And we're cleaning up. Marcel's cleaning up. I helped her a little bit. So, great birthday party for Kentucky boy in the Philippines. Biscuits and gravy, bacon and eggs, cheeseburgers, potato chips, coleslaw. It's a good day. Good day in the Philippines. It's hot, sunshine, no rain, which is good because we had a lot of rain last in the last week or so. We're getting ready to have another cyclone come through and be dumping a lot more rain and so uh, I'm glad we didn't have any rain for the, for the birthday. Now also on my birthday November 1st it's a national holiday not because of me <laughs> uh, it should be you know of course but, but no it's All Saints Day and families go to the cemetery it's kind of like Memorial Day in America they go to the cemetery and they visit the, the grave sites put flowers clean up and they have a family gathering and family meal time and spend time together. Um, I noticed that the college on over a couple of streets over from me today, no classes today. So everything was shut down today because of All Saints Day. People, it's, they go, they go be with their families. So I didn't know that about my birthday in the Philippines. It's a national holiday, but not because of me. It's a, it's a big deal here in, in Philippines, family, and visiting the graves, and that's a great thing, that's a good thing. Uh, lots of family activities here in the Philippines, lots of family love, and uh, focus on the family. It's a good thing. Uh, they don't promote single motherhood in the Philippines. A lot of hardworking single moms that are good women, good mothers in America, but God didn't mean it. So, and that happens here. A lot of single moms here in the Philippines, but God didn't mean it that way. So, November 1st, All Saints Day, is a holiday in the Philippines, and it's my birthday. So, I think the uh, family day is much more significant than my birthday. So, I'm sitting out here in my Buhai Kubo, and I'm watching my little dog play, I'm letting him off the leash. Uh oh, he's barking at somebody. He's having a great time, and uh, it's been a good birthday. Talk to you.
to you later. Thanks for watching.